Hello, Paul here, and I want to show you how you can process a bunch of images, maybe giving them all the same look, same style, resize them, whatever you need to do. We're going beyond actions and droplets, a more visual way. Say, for instance, if I wanted to remove the green out of every image in here. In fact, I'm going to launch Photoshop and we'll go to File. And the first thing we want to do is we want to load everything into a stack. Every single file is going to get loaded in as a layer uh, so I don't have to do it individually. So click OK and it is done. You can see off to the side, it adds the layer name as the file name, which is key. That's absolutely huge, but you can see all the files right in here. In fact, we turn that off. Places a lot of them in the upper left-hand corner. We can move those out. But what's cool that we could do now is we can go ahead and add some adjustment layers. So I can, at the very top, add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Do whatever you want, quite frankly. But in uh, my case, I just need to remove all the greens. We'll take the saturation all the way down and let's expand this green really make any adjustments you want we could do further adjustments if we want to add clipping masks but it does quite a good job so now that I've done this processing with just this adjustment layer, well, I want to output each individual layer as the exact same file name with this adjustment already applied. So how do you do that? Well, it already has the file name here. So we just need to go to File, Generate, Image, assets. This is awesome. Turn that on. And it already made that untitled one assets folder. In fact, let's take a look. Oh, here it is. Here's my untitled one. Here are all the assets that it generated. And let's take a look. We'll open that up. Sure enough, here's all of the uh, sort of uh, green removed from all of these images. And even as you make adjustments, if you decide you want to uh, add, say, a curves or some other adjustment layer, it applies to every single image. Notice how that looks a little bit more washed out. And that's how you can quickly take a bunch of images, load them up, do some processing, some cool looks, and then export them out all using Photoshop. Thanks so much for watching.